Uh, today is hatch day. The chicks have left the hatcher. They were then moved in to the chick processing area. Now that we have this hatcher that needs to be cleaned, there's a couple things we need to do first. First thing is safety. We need our, we need our proper PPEs, safety glasses and gloves. <clears throat> Once we have that, the next thing we need to do is properly lock out, tag out the equipment. <clears throat> so now you see there's a couple ways to clean out this material. One is what they call a dry sweep, where you would sweep this out. The problem with that, it creates a lot of dust and, and down floating around. What a lot of folks do is they'll take a garden hose and lightly mist this material and then sweep it out. Once this material has been swept out, we're gonna do a rinse, rinse the cabinet out. We will then foam with a soap. After the foam has sat for 10, 15 minutes, come back and scrub the cabinet out we will then rinse the cabinet and then finally disinfect this cabinet. Once that's done, this process will be complete. <clears throat> now once we take out this dry material, there's a couple things we need to remove from this cabinet. One is the water reservoir and wick and one is the air diffuser uh, and, and we'll explain that as we move forward. So at this point, I'm going to miss this area. I'm to the point where I'm going to lightly miss the floor to get this dust suppressed. Okay, next thing is, is we got our handy dandy squeegee. We're gonna squeegee this out, out to the front here, and then we'll shovel it into a, into a waste barrel. <clears throat> the idea here is not to get everything out, but the majority of it out. Now that we've got the majority of the material out of the hatcher, we need to pick this up, put it into our barrel. Okay, now that the, the dry material has been removed, we are going to remove the wick and water reservoir and the air diffuser. The water reservoir and the wick needs to be removed. The wick gets thrown away. Reservoir gets cleaned out, gets dumped out, cleaned out, soap rinsed and disinfected. And then distilled water placed back in it. <clears throat> this is the air diffuser and that has been removed and that'll be cleaned here in a little bit okay at this point we're gonna go and rinse down the hatcher and then after that we will squeegee it out and we'll go and Soap it, scrub it, rinse it, and sanitize. And what I like to do is I like to start at the top and work my way down.
now we've taken out the dry material, we've uh, rinsed out the hatcher, we are now going to foam the hatcher with a soap solution. The quality of foam is important. We want to make sure it's not too runny, not too thick. Should be a, around the consistency of shaving cream. What we're going to do is we're going to start at the bottom and now work our way up injecting or spraying the foam in the hatch or cabinet. And we want to make sure we're covering the entire cabinet completely because we need good contact time for the soap to take care of breaking down whatever um, 3D material might be left in the hatcher. Also want to make sure we get the doors as well. Okay, now after we've got the hatcher foamed with our soap, it has to sit at least 10 minutes and now we're getting to the point where we hand scrub, need a little elbow grease here to clean the inside of the hatcher. If you see any spots that need, you know, additional elbow grease, that's what you're going to do is focus on cleaning the entire hatcher by hand. Once this is complete, we will then rinse the hatcher out and sanitize it. The hatcher has been scrubbed and we're in the process of rinsing it out. Let me just finish the, the rinsing process and then we will go and, and disinfect this hatcher. We want to make sure that as we're doing this final rinse that we're getting all the eggshells out of the out of the machine and look for anything that you might have missed um, during the scrubbing process. We've also replaced the air diffuser and now we're ready to disinfect. <clears throat> okay, at this point, hatcher's been cleaned out. We're ready to disinfect it. Once we're done with the disinfecting process, we'll put hatcher baskets back in here. We'll close the doors, remove the lockout tag out, turn the machine on, and allow the machine and baskets to dry. And now this has been com completely cleaned and disinfected.